Hey guys, today we're going to build a house in Bloxburg, but each room is 3x3. As you can see, this white square is exactly the size of a 3x3 room. And this is the size that every room needs to be. Totally not intimidating, totally a good amount of space. First off, a 3x3 bedroom, a little bit tight on space, right? You can only pretty much put like a single bed, you can put a wardrobe, and that's like about it for a 3x3 bedroom. But like for a 3x3 bathroom, it's like, whoa, look at this. We got all the space in the world. We can fit a whole sink shower toilet and then we still got room but anyways right over here i'm starting off with this being the entryway i'm gonna count it as a room and then i think to the right of it should it be a garage can a car even fit let's just check oh not this one i always pick the tiny one <gasps> i'm gonna make it a garage this is gonna be like the first time in some of these tiny builds where i add a garage entryway garage bathroom i think this should be like kitchen dining area maybe the living room here the bedroom is gonna be here i'm excited for this i'm kind of going for a little bit of a suburban house as you can see i had all these pillars everywhere we're gonna grab these horizontal planks and I'm gonna color them blue because suburban houses are usually like blue and I'm gonna put this all around the house next up we're gonna grab a gable roof just so I can also get this out the way and I kind of wanted to bump out a little bit forward so it looks a little fancy do we like this gable roof you know what I'm just not gonna complain and I think instead of using the plain pillar I'm literally just gonna go for the square pillar because it looks so pretty another square pillar here and another one here now look at the design I'm gonna do this is a roof trick well not really what I'm gonna do is grab the slanted roof and we're gonna like bring it into this house and hope that it ends up looking good. Oh my god, I just saw my neighbor and I feel so awkward. I'm like hiding myself while I'm building. <laughs> this is literally so random. Anyways, I'm just placing some of this trim on the exterior because it usually looks really good for these types of houses. Since this is a suburban house, we're gonna pick out traditional windows. This is the bathroom, so maybe no window there. I know people get feisty with that. Nobody likes the window in the bathroom. I don't know if I should use like variety traditional windows or not. You know what? For the bedroom, I think I will. Variety. What was this room? Oh, this was the living room. So windows there are fine. This is the garage spot. I feel like a garage would probably maybe have a window. <laughs> Should I really spend 18k on a car? How about this one? I'd rather spend 18k on this little buddy. He's just chilling on that motorcycle. I'm gonna do it for the video. I'm gonna pay the money. I actually think this looks pretty good so far. Oh, we need a garage door. I nearly forgot about that. Otherwise, how do you get your car in there? I think I'm just gonna go for this basic one. My neighbor literally moved in a way that they can see me more. I think I'm just gonna lower my blinds. I'm like lowering them in this moment. I don't know why my neighbor was just staring at me like that. I'm gonna add this concrete floor out here at the front you know what i could do it's still gonna be a concrete floor at the front don't worry about that but what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna continue the floor here we're gonna put plants in that spot and instead what we're gonna do is create a sort of pathway here what about the garage how do you get there usually there's like a pathway leading up to the house like this and then like a driveway right but mine is sort of combined maybe i can separate this concrete floor using this fence that's not a bad separation <laughs> i could also turn this into like a stepping stone thing just like literally make squares with this grass and there you go and over in this corner i'm gonna make it's grass and i'm gonna color it like a dark brown so it looks like dirt and this is actually one of my favorite items in the gardening it's just this box hedge i'm sorry if you can hear my neighbor they're talking right now they probably talk about me <laughs> i kind of really want to add a window out here at the front i know it's the bathroom i know people don't like that listen if somebody sees you on the toilet it's your own fault for not closing the shutters since we're still out here let me just grab this super basic tree and i'm gonna put a couple like so oh and you know what i haven't done in like forever roof trim i feel like i need to do this if you guys are wondering what roof trim is it's this thing that you put on like the edge of the roof i see it in like suburban houses all the time so i definitely have to do it for this house in blocksburg you do this using structurals i really hope that blocksburg adds a way for us to do this like super quickly i'm gonna add this floor this is planks with linen and yes i'm gonna add the wooden floor in the garage too i don't care for the bathroom i like to be a little picky i like to make it marble and also for the walls of the bathroom i always do like small rounded tiles boom boom bam and there we go done i'm gonna add this flat baseboard inside the house we're also gonna have to place doors or at least like openings or something i don't I don't know if uh, suburban houses usually have openings. I know that they definitely have like the traditional door frames with like the molding at the top, but I don't know about the thing that I'm thinking of. So the thing that I'm talking about is this like arched opening. I feel like I don't really see this in suburban houses. So I guess I'm just gonna go for one of these like traditional frames. Ooh, look at this one. All right, here's my thoughts. We're gonna have this see-through French door here for the garage. We're gonna have a regular traditional door here to enter your bathroom. Double door frame here to enter, what was this? I think that was a kitchen. Yeah, that was the kitchen. Over here, I'm gonna put another door frame. I kind of want to use this French door for the bedroom. I don't want the bedroom entrance to be in the kitchen. I want you to enter this bedroom from this living room.
living room. I think that's gonna be so much better because I need this wall to not have anything on it so I can put like our appliances and counters. That's literally gonna be it for our doors, <laughs> nothing else. And one more thing that I nearly forgot, I should actually put like molding at the top. I think I'll just use this flat crown one and put it everywhere. So I painted the rest of these walls to be quill gray. And I also made this little corner here with items and objects that I basically wanna use inside of the house. This is just so I don't have to like look for it in the build menu. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab it and like paste it somewhere. Anyways, let's go over here to our entryway. I actually have a wall lamp that I wanna use. I think it would be kind of cool to maybe use it on the sides over here of the entryway. Provide us with some light. A three by three entryway is actually really spacious. I wonder if we have like a traditional bench that we can use and if we don't, maybe I'll just go for the fancy one. I honestly don't even think I'm gonna recolor this bench. But what I will do is add a couple of pillows on top and I'm just gonna put one pair of slippers here. The next thing that would be like really good in an entryway is an umbrella stand. You always need this like at the front over here in case it rains and also a hook rack. Now I don't really know where I'm gonna place this because we don't have a lot of wall space. Maybe I'm just gonna try to put it like underneath or over this light. I would put it over the door but that would make even less sense. I think I'm literally just gonna try to put it over the light and then I'm gonna put these hanging towels on the sides and not in the middle so it doesn't like block the light and we're gonna pretend that these towels are jackets. Another thing that we can do is grab a hat stand. I think I'm gonna use this classic one because it feels most like suburban. I'm gonna place this one over in this corner and then the last thing I'm gonna grab is this end table because where else would we put our car keys, fragrances, and sunglasses? You'll also need sunscreen just in case. Gotta make sure you don't get burnt. I put these string lights up here because I also wanted to use these. Oop, I didn't grab it. Is this suburban? I don't know, but is it cute? Absolutely. You know what? They could totally use a welcome mat. I am using like a lot of blue colors and that's because I mean, it's a blue suburban house. What else would be more suitable? I think I'm gonna be using the slanted ceiling lamp. I mean, I feel like this is such a classic lamp for a house. Also, look at how much light it gives us. That was like a world's difference. I'm gonna use like, I think one per room. Maybe it's not in the bathroom, but maybe it is in the garage. That actually gave us so much light. I kind of feel like doing a little bit of a carpet hack. I haven't done it in a minute. Basically, you grab this bathroom mat right here, color with detailed tiles, make it white. Now you grab it, change the grid, and then you press R and you place it, because R means rotate. Basically, with every single time that you rotate, you place the carpet once. I made it pretty small. I don't really want it to be too big. This entryway does look like pretty good and done, but I just want to add like one floor plan, and I have this one right over here that I feel like would fit perfectly in that corner. And that's going to be our 3x3 three three entryway. It's so spacious. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mr. Kitty? Over here is the garage. I don't want to say that the garage is done just because I put a car. I want to do something more. Also, I got to recolor this wall. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this car out like a little bit. It's like parked outside, I guess. <laughs> I'm not going to try to use up like all the space in the garage, but I do want to put like a little desk in this corner, like this simplicity desk, because I think you can fit your car and this desk in here. I mean, imagine you can't. That would be bad. I'm also going to give them the simplicity chair. Somebody said that there's like workbench tools. Uh, I don't really see them. I forget where to find them. So I'm just gonna give like a gym duffel bag in this corner. Maybe if I search like tools, so I found a cinder block. Maybe they keep a traffic cone. You would probably have this mini reindeer in here. Why when I search tool, I don't find anything. I wanted to find like specific tools, like a hammer. I literally don't see it. Anyways, I'm gonna give them a round trash can, perhaps two posters, a couple of sticky notes, and you would probably have your papers here. Let me just go over in this spot and I'm just gonna copy these books. I feel like these would be suitable on this little desk. And the last thing that I definitely wanna put in here is just like a crate. And maybe on this crate, I'm gonna put the traffic cone. Let me see if I can put these plain books down in here. Why not? I feel so sad that I can't really place anything there. I think the car would fit. Okay, well, it doesn't exactly fit. If I just move some stuff around though, I think it'll be fine. What if I move this desk in this corner and I move the chair like a little bit more into the desk? I know it looks a little sloppier now, but we're just making more space for our car. I'm pretty sure this car fits now. I mean, you might hit your chair a little bit every time you back up in here, but you're fine. I'm just gonna add a couple more posters. I don't even know why we got so many posters and sticky notes, but we do. And then grab these fairy lights. Put them right here. Can you put fairy lights on your car? Can you? Can you drive away with those fairy lights? Is it wrong that I want to test it? This is very off topic, but I just really want to check if you can drive away with those lights. I feel that you wouldn't be able to, but it doesn't hurt to try. Where did the fairy lights go? So they just entirely vanished. So weird. Now I can't like delete them. Get these fairy lights out of my car. Okay, there. I got them. We're good. I'm gonna just keep the garage open. So now that that is done, we can move on over here to our kitchen. I already got a counter set up over here. So I'm just gonna grab this, paste it here, and put it over here. Should I put the fridge in the middle? I feel like it will work out. So these counters that I chose are literally called the traditional counters. And I'm also gonna grab the traditional pantry cabinet, put it in the center. The reason I chose this is because the naming of it is traditional. You ink this fridge, put it here. You know what? I want a different fridge today. I'm gonna go for the flex freeze. Do you think I could get away with like putting a kitchen island? Cause I feel like I wouldn't. No wait, I think I can put an island like over here. That means I can delete this counter and put a stove over here instead. That is so much better. We used fancy bench here. So I'm gonna grab the fancy stool. I'll just put like three inside the island. Kinda wanna make it like a different shade of blue because they all are looking a little too blue. This shelf cabinet
cabinet is gonna get a microwave and this half cabinet is gonna have what do you call it the cabinet hood thingy and here's your microwave and now for the rest of our appliances we have our toaster coffee maker why is it so far and the blender i'm gonna yoink this soap bottle put it next to the sink right here grab this utensil back put it right above the stove where else would it go i usually never buy a dishwasher but for this house i'm gonna give them a dishwasher just for fun i definitely want to give them like a spice rack i feel like it's so important i really like to put it to like the side of the wall that the stove is on it just feels so realistic also like some sticky notes in the kitchen would make a lot of sense because it's like grocery list you ink this fruit bowl put it on the island and then i think i'm gonna give every single person on this stool like a mug maybe they all have coffee or maybe one of them even has a smoothie now i don't know who puts a smoothie in a cup like this but you never know maybe they ran out of cups this kitchen organizer shelf i could put it right here it takes up the space so nicely like usually i grab the ceiling pot rack and i put it above the island but today i'm doing something different the last touch for the kitchen is a floor plant and I'm literally gonna put it in this corner I forgot a carpet for the sink. I like this kitchen so much. Should I put a string light? I really want to go crazy with string lights. I don't even know why. It's just the mood today You know what? We put them on the cabinets I think that's all we got to do now since our kitchen is done We're gonna move on over here to the bathroom And so I have a little bit of a plan for this as you can see in this corner I have some household items I have this laundry basket some cleaning supplies and also the stacked washer and dryer And what I was thinking of doing is because this is a three by three bathroom We could try to use up some of the space by making it like a household thing as well. I'm gonna try to make it work. I'm sort of like separating the walls here. I want this to be like a cabinet for the washing machine and like other like clothing stuff. And then over here is like a closet for our cleaning supplies. So now I'd say that all we need is the right door to like show this stuff. I'm gonna use this traditional French double door and then this other traditional French door here. Hold up, what is this? Commercial counter. Why have I not seen this before? I'm gonna put this traditional counter here next to our washing machine. Let's just recolor it the same as the kitchen. The reason I chose this one with like this empty spot is because I want to put towels in there. I also really want to grab a cabinet. Maybe this cabinet would be good right above this counter. And this is basically our cleaning supplies corner. But what else would a cleaning supplies closet have? I'm just going to search the word clean and see what comes up. Pool cleaning net. Kitchen sink. None of this is what we want. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab like a huge sort of rolling trash can like this one. We're not going to treat it like an actual trash can. It's more like a place where we put clothes or just dirty stuff. We're going to role play here. I'm going to grab a couple of these stacked towels and also maybe some of these roll towels. Why won't it let me place anything? It's because it's seeing the door in front of it. I have to like move this counter outside, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. I think that looks pretty good. Now we can actually make the bathroom. <laughs> I just really wanted to use up the space in like a smart way. For the bathroom, we're gonna grab this toilet and then I'm gonna grab this traditional counter with the sink. Oh my God, I can barely see. I kind of want to put it somewhere here. Maybe I'll put it in this corner. In the toilet there, I'll delete this sink. Don't worry, I'll put the tilt sink. Where does the shower go? Should I like move this stuff out of there and turn this into a sort of custom shower? That might actually be the way to go because we don't have much room. I mean, we do have room, but you can't really just put the shower in the middle. To make the custom shower, always grab an arched inset. Just resize it a little bit because it doesn't go on like a single wall. It needs to be on a double wall first before you can place it. And then grab this soap dispenser and we're going to put it in this inset. We're going to pretend that these are like shower products. They look so fancy to me every time I do this. I guess these cleaning products will just stay here. I mean, they do look a little sloppy there, but I can't think of a better place to put them. Next up, we're going to grab a towel hanger. Oh, I should put it up here, I guess. I'll put two. And then we go and put a mirror right above our counter. Toilet paper roll for our toilet. And maybe we could keep like a toiletry bag on this counter. Also the toothbrush, hair brush, and the toothpaste. You know what I should do? Wrap this bathroom mat. Put it right here. Or maybe right here. I'm gonna put them in both places. <laughs> Look at how dark it is in here. The string lights do help a little bit with the light, but I feel like it's not enough. I'm just gonna grab this sleek ceiling light and I'm gonna put it up here. That's so much better. We can actually see now. Obviously you got shutters, but I'm also gonna give them some curtains for some extra privacy. Just in case the shutters were not enough. That is literally like the most most random shelf ever. I'm gonna get rid of it. This is our completed bathroom. I think we did a really good job using up the three by three space. And now we're gonna move on over here to our dining area. I feel like a three by three dining area is pretty spacious and that's a good thing because dining tables in Bloxburg, well, the square ones, they take up a lot of space. I don't even know if the square one is gonna fit in here. Do we have a traditional one? We have this arched one, festive. We have this transitional dining table though. I think it might fit perfectly in this room. I know that there's like a dining table decoration you can put over it, but I forget what it's called. I'm just gonna quickly look for it. It's called a table runner. I haven't used this in forever. I'm gonna use this tabor tabor. <laughs> I can't pronounce this because it's P and B and it's confusing my brain. I'm gonna use it on this dining table because it looks nice. Look at my menu. It look goofy. Bring it back down. I'm gonna use the most basic dining chair. I feel like you would see this in a suburban house or at least a traditional sort of home. I'm gonna make the chairs a light blue. I should use these table runners more. Can I put a placemat on top? It seems to sort of work okay. And then we're gonna put this plate on top here. Grab this standard tray and put it in the center grab some of these roses put them here and we're gonna put these spices on the sides of the roses that looks so fancy i really like
like this dining area. This shelf is looking really awkward by itself. I don't know where to put the shelf. Maybe it's gonna end up going in the living room. I don't know. What is this? I think that's a desk. Now we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna grab this painting. We're basically gonna put it in this dining area. And then next up, I'm gonna grab this elegant plant and I kind of want to put it in the corner of this room twice. And then I guess I'm gonna grab this overgrowth floor plant and I'll put it on the corner of this side twice. The dining area is done and now we're gonna move on to the living room. Let me search traditional. That is not how you spell it. Traditional. Okay, nothing comes up. What about suburban? <laughs> nothing comes up. We're gonna grab this transitional sofa. Now, how am I gonna place it? I think here so I can cover up this desk. <laughs> There's nothing to see behind this couch. Absolutely nothing. And now over on this side, I would love to use this console table and I'm not gonna give them a super fancy TV also because this kind of gives me anxiety. Instead, I'm just gonna give them this AccuSlip. I feel like this coffee table is barely used even though you can like recolor this. This coffee table is just so underrated. I definitely wanna put like a couple of books on this honestly. I'm gonna like stack them and then I'm literally just gonna grab another tray. This is a log tray so I don't think I'm gonna recolor it and I'm gonna put a glass here. I wanna pretend that they were like drinking some water. Let's also put a TV remote right in the center. Yoink these pillows, swap these ones out. We'll put a little blanket on the couch. Can I also put this little tongue blanket? I've been using this again lately. I don't even know why. It looks like a tongue to me. That's why I call it the tongue blanket. It's also colored red like a tongue. I definitely feel like grabbing this plant, putting it right here. The reason I'm using the attitude shelf is because I feel like I never use it. I've used like all of the other shelves so many times. And the thing is, is that this one is so cute. I really want to put a round clock somewhere. I think it would be kind of fun to put it maybe twice. No, that would be weird. I'll just put it once here above the shelf. Why do I feel like grabbing another bench and just putting it here? And maybe I'll do the same carpet hack. I'll do it in like the center if I can just move this coffee table. Let me resize it so it's really long. Now we do the rotations. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put this painting here and here. And maybe also two floor plants like that. This is the living room. And now we're gonna move on to the final room of the house, which is the bedroom. The thing about the bedroom is that three by three is kind of very little space. It's better than two by two or one by one, but it's still so little space. I kind of want to use a canopy bed. I can't even use this double bed because look at how much space it takes up. It's crazy. So I'm gonna try to go for this canopy single bed. I'm gonna rotate it like this. Since it's a canopy bed, I'm gonna grab a canopy for it and I'm literally just gonna put it right there. I forgot how you're meant to use these. If you place a single bed, you have a pretty good amount of space to place everything else you would need, like a wardrobe, which is super important. You definitely need it in every single bedroom. If you can't like put a wardrobe in the bedroom, then you could just try to put a dresser. I'm gonna put this fancy tall dresser in this corner. Yeah, this feels pretty good. Let's just put this nice stand here. Your classic alarm clock. I'm also gonna put a table lamp. Wait, and a sleeping mask. I think I could grab this bathroom mat. I'm just gonna use it as like a carpet. I'm gonna put it underneath the bed, grab this elegant plant put it in this corner. And I think we need some decoration above this dresser. So what I'm thinking we could put here is some makeup that they just left. Like they didn't clean it up. So mascara, blush, and highlighter. I'm gonna also put this floor mirror like here. Kinda wanna give them a memo board. And so I will. I'm gonna give them this memo board kinda behind their mirror. Put just a few into pictures, a couple of sticky notes. Kinda wanna put a poster. I think it's kinda cool to layer them like this. And you know what else we could totally go for? It's actually in our bathroom. This framed mirror right above our dresser. I could grab these stacked plain books and put them on the bed as well. Maybe they're studying for the exams. That's why I'm giving them all those papers. <laughs> I'm gonna give them a couple of flowers just to be sweet. The bedroom is done. So the total value of our each room is three by three house is 95,000. Here is what it looks like from the front. Yeah. Here's what it looks like from the left. Here is the back side and here is the right side. Let's go inside, shall we? This is the three by three entryway. An entryway of this size feels pretty big. I would actually say that three by three for every other room in the house is kind of perfect. Like this is the three by three bathroom. I think if you made this like not a household sort of corner, then the bathroom would maybe feel a little awkward. But if you try to make this like three by one spot into like a shower and a household spot, then it'll look really good as a whole bathroom. Also the three by three garage, I think you would need a little bit more space because I kind of had to squeeze this desk over into this corner to like make this car fit and everything fit. So I would say that three by three for a garage is not perfect if you're trying to decorate it. If you just want to have your car in there, I would say it's perfect. This is obviously the kitchen and honestly three by three for a kitchen is not bad. I like it. I feel that a three by three dining area is perfect as well. If we take this right from our kitchen, we're in our living room and this is pretty good dimensions for the living room too. Not too spacious and not like suffocating. You have enough room to put everything you need basically. Finally, over here is our bedroom and I guess this is like the only room where maybe I would have wanted, oh, I locked myself out. I think this is the only room that maybe I would want some more space so I could fit like an office. That is all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I love you guys so much. Bye!